Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a weekly love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, or if you have a stellium in Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. And lastly, do consider subscribing to my channel. That way it will help me to tap into your energy for future readings. All right. Okay. Let's see. Just for Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Thank you. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. What is coming towards Sagittarius? What is coming towards Sagittarius? yet okay queen of cups right Walking away from things that only take from you but don't give you back. Right? You're learning to walk away from things that doesn't make you happy anymore. In the past, whatever this was could have made you a lot given you a lot of happiness, made you very happy. But whatever isn't making you happy anymore, you are walking away from that. Also, I feel like you have been very emotional in the past. And right now you want to focus on your stability, on your pentacles. You might have, you might feel like you have been too emotional. You have focused too much on your emotions and not on your stability enough. And right now you are focusing much more on this masculine energy. You are going to focus more on this masculine energy instead of this feminine queen of cups energy. Okay, the lovers. Yeah, making a choice to be in this feminine energy rather than the masculine energy. You might have uh, neglected uh, your stability in the past. Because you were too focused on relationships, you were too focused on giving to others. Whereas you, these people, the situations you were involved in weren't giving to you. And you neglected your st stability, you neglected focusing on your career, on whatever makes you happy, whatever gives you stability, that. And you feel like it's time you focused on this king of, king of pentacles energy, you tapped into this king of pentacles energy. You're also learning to be very mature and a bit detached. Like not my circus, not my monkeys, that kind of a vibe. Okay, Sagittarius. Yeah, bottom of the deck is the five of cups. You, I also heard you are not going to be pulled in other people's dramas anymore. Okay. 
So that's what's coming towards you, Sagittarius. All right. Let's see him. finances and career. Finances and career. Whatever comes out for finances and career. You could have a new offer coming in pretty fast. Some communication coming in. From a partner. Okay. From someone who could be a potential partner. If you're looking for a partnership. Because you're starting something new in your life, you could have that kind of communication coming in. You also could be moving towards something new in your career. Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're moving fast. You're moving very fast from something, all this emotional turmoil. If you were in a work situation that was very toxic, didn't make you happy. It was all over the place. You didn't know where you were standing. You didn't know where you were going. You weren't being appreciated. You are moving past all of that and moving towards this very nine of pentacles energy. You could be starting something new of your own where you are going to, you know, you are going to be the boss. All right. A new venture of your own. You are going to start something like that. You are going solo, that kind of vibe, going solo. Whatever you are going to, you are starting right now, it is going to give you a lot of movement in your life. If you felt stagnant, it is going to bring in a lot of movement. Also, if you're thinking of solo traveling right now, it's a great idea. Go for it. You are going to be very, very independent. All right, Sagittarius, you are going to be independent. You are going to focus on yourself and you are tapping into that nine of pentacles energy. Where you are going to be very, very self-sufficient. You don't have to depend on others. If you have been looking for stability, you uh, like you felt like you neglected your career, as I said in the beginning of the reading, you neglected your career for relationships or any situation any other situation you are going to slowly move towards being this nine of pentacles where you are very self-sufficient independent and you have everything you want all by yourself you've worked on yourself and manifested everything all by yourself you're going to you are very much right now going to be in this independent energy even when it comes to career you are going to get independent you are going to go solo. Okay, Sagittarius. All right. Let's see what's coming in love or for Sagittarius. What is coming in love for Sagittarius or who's coming towards Sagittarius? Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius in love. Okay. Someone could be reaching out to you. Could be a fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're thinking of reaching out to you. They're thinking of texting you. 
calling you all right but you have some form of communication coming in pretty soon okay bottom of the deck is the ace of pentacles and the page of swords yeah this someone is coming in with some communication about a new beginning this person could be stalking you right now but they want a new beginning with you They want to build something with you. It's just not a beginning. They want to build the Ten of Pentacles with you. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles is bringing the Ace of Pentacles towards you. Uh, an offer is coming towards you. Uh, definitely Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Some communication about a new beginning is coming towards you. Someone is offering you the Ace of Pentacles to build the Ten of Pentacles. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces who is coming towards you. This person is a bit emotionally detached. Two of Cups. And the reason they want a new beginning with you is because they love you. They have feelings for you. This person in the past didn't know how to deal with their feelings. They were very confused about their feelings. The King of Cups was there. So the King of Cups keeps their feelings very hidden. They might not have expressed their emotions to you at all. But now they want to come in and bring in a new beginning towards you. Okay. The bottom of the deck is the Moon and the Devil here. And the Ten of Cups. This person definitely has uh, some issues going on. Also, I feel very disconnected right now when I'm focusing on this energy. Okay, so this person definitely is disconnected from their emotions. They were at least in the past. So even if they have feelings, they will not be able to express it properly. At least they didn't in the past. Right now, they are bringing you an offer. But this is a pentacle. Okay, so they want to build something with you. So this person is going to come in very slow. They are going to see the waters, check what's up with you. And then they are going to offer you something stable. They want to build something with you. But this person definitely has something hidden. They, are, they have something hidden from you. This could be some issues they have, some inner childhood issues, some past traumas that they are still holding on to. This also could be some sort of alcoholism or some abuse, that kind of, that this person might hide from you. So be very careful when this person comes in. Although they are bringing in a stable offering and they see the Ten of Cups energy with you, but still they have something hidden here. Okay. this person is also very obsessed with you the page of swords was there so they are stalking you and they are obsessively stalking you this moon and this de devil energy feels very toxic All right, let's see this person's feelings for you. Their feelings for you.
they feel like taking the leap of faith when it comes to you they feel like being bold they want to be bold and they want to take this bring this ace of pentacles towards you as i said this person has something hidden they have some issues they might not be able to express themselves emotionally very well because of these issues but they still want to take that leap of faith because they know the two of cups the ten of cups that they have feelings for you and these feelings run pretty deep bottom of the deck is the seven of cups this person is and the six of cups they feel oh uh, they miss you they miss your energy and as i said this person is very very obsessed with you the more they think about you whether it's very physically i feel this empress in a very physical way like there's a lot of attraction this person has for you and the more they think about being physically intimate with you, being there with you, holding you, touching you, this person gets more confused. That's the energy I'm getting from the Empress here because of the devil. This person miss, misses your physical presence. Like having you by the side. This is what this person is missing. They could be thinking about multiple outcomes multiple scenarios being with you like being with you together they could be thinking about it they could be dreaming about you a lot too like sitting there you know like sitting in the workplace and just daydreaming about you and this this energy this feels a very sexual kind of energy here like this daydreaming is even very sexual Uh, this, this this is very weird. I feel a bit of a weird energy here. Okay. Let's see how this feels. How this heal. Let's see. I was shuffling the cards on bottom of the deck is the death here. The, uh, they, they might feel this person feels like there is a permanent ending between the both of you. Or you, you were the one probably who ended this situation and decided to move on. You brought this ending between the both of you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Taurus or a Libra. A Capricorn and Aries or an Aquarius. Yeah, the High Priestess. Bottom of the deck is Strength. This person sees you as someone who is strong enough to cut through people's bullshit, to see through people's bullshit. You're strong enough also to detach yourself from any situation that isn't serving you and focus on your emotion, focus on yourself, go silent and listen to your intuition. They see you as very intuitive and there's a huge sexual attraction this person has for you. The Empress, the High Priestess, the Devil. 
And look how the high priestess and the moon are one above another. They are they know that whatever they are hiding, whatever issues they have inside of them, you are being able to see through all of that right now. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Yeah, they know you. they broke your heart. They are aware of it. But they are also aware of it that you are moving past this heartbreak. You are not letting this heartbreak break you down. This heartbreak made you, made you very much more stronger. This is how this person sees you. Okay. And the Hierophant. Wow. Yeah, you are leveling up. The High Priestess and the Hierophant, a very wise person. They see you as someone who's leveling up. You're not letting, you are just taking all of this pain that they gave you and you are turning it and letting it build yourself up. Okay? You're using all of that pain to propel forward in life. You are not letting this person who this person who, have, who caused you a lot of pain to hold you back. They see you as like that. They also see you as someone very stubborn. They see you as someone who cannot be easily swayed into something. Okay. All right, let's see the outcome. Let's see the outcome. The outcome, please. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they are going to come in. They are coming in pretty soon. The Nine of Cups. And they are coming in because you are their wish fulfillment. That is why they want to come in. Okay. Yeah, the magician. They could try, uh, try to be a bit manipulative when they come in. But this person will try anything they have to manifest you. They will try all techniques they have up, up their sleeves to manifest you. But it is a very slow energy page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So it is going to be very slow. They are going to be progressing very slow. They are going to try to gain your confidence back before they make any movement towards you. They are also willing to be, they are going to say like, I am willing to even travel for you to cover this distance between the both of you, both of us. Yeah, the three of pentacles. Yeah, this person is going to come in to tell that they want to work with you. They want to give this another sh shot. They want to keep working on this connection. They don't want to give up. They want to collaborate with you. All right. Okay, let's see the advice for you. The advice for you. Four of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands. Okay, focus on your happiness. Your happiness should be your priority right now. It is okay to have those strong boundaries while you're working on your happiness. I feel like you're really working hard on your happiness here, on your independence and you are surrounded by people who really love you, who care about you, okay? You also might not be ready for this person to come in or for anyone right now because you are healing, you are focusing on yourself. Yeah, you're focusing on your own happiness here. 
and that is why i feel like you are not ready yeah see the pain isn't gone yet the three of swords the pain this person caused you hasn't gone yet and you are not ready to let this person in or you are not ready for anyone at all and that is all right that is okay if you're not ready for anyone that is okay you first need to heal from this pain look at this the four of swords you need to heal from this pain this pain is very heavy on you right now. You need to get out of this heaviness. You need to get out of this painful three of swords energy. You need to heal with the four of swords and focus on your own happiness. By Until then, if you feel like you need to have your guard up, you need to sit on your high tower. Do that. Alright, Sagittarius. That is the reading. Now let's see some messages from this person okay some messages from this person yeah as i cut the deck i stalk you messages from from this person you're perfect for me of course I know I'm the one to blame okay let's get You're too good for me. I can feel your desire for me. I believe we are meant to be together. I'm afraid of commitment. Yeah, this person was probably in the past very afraid of commitment. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, dream and imagine. Yeah. You need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive this person and stop focusing that your precious energy on the past. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow you will be surprised where it leads yeah take time to heal yourself forgive yourself forgive this person okay sagittarius and take where uh, go with life go where life takes you all right well, that's the reading, Sagittarius. I hope you find the clarity you've been looking for. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.